So just like talk. So here we have our pop tarts, my personal favorite. You for sure have to toast these in the toaster oven. What's going on? So this is my grocery haul. Now in some other videos I talked about how I was cutting and bulking and this is kind of my go-to that I'm a bulk. Um, so I'm basically gonna show you my grocery list. All right guys, so a quick disclaimer here. So prior to even trying a lot of these foods that I have in this video, because they're a lot of fun foods, I wanna make sure that people are still prioritizing food quality. So making sure, you know, at this point I'm eating 5,000 calories a day. So that's a lot of food. Um, and I just, at some point you can't only eat, you know, the whole grains, you can't only eat oatmeal. You gotta make sure that when you're doing these steps that I'm taking here, these are a little more aggressive, right? More empty calories, more sugars, more fats. Um, obviously you should be training hard at this point, but you should have already exhausted a lot of those previous methods. So I'm, I'm still eating fruits, I'm still eating you know whole grains, I'm still eating all of that, but I'm adding this stuff in here to help me get more calories in because you know, I'm eating 5,000 calories a day and I'm in week three of my bulk. So making sure that you still are focusing on healthy nutrition um, and going into these bulks, you should already have a good understanding of where you're at in terms of you know, your blood profile and make sure that you're healthy to do this um, because you, know, you are gonna be eating some empty calories you know, for two, three months. So making sure you have that. And I typically will get my blood work done pre and post to kind of monitor things like blood pressure, cholesterol, but um, I haven't had any issues with it. So again, just a disclaimer on there, I don't wanna tell people that they can dirty bulk all the time. I'm definitely a clean bulking person. Um, so if you can bulk and gain weight on 3,000 calories, which a lot of people can do, then obviously have that come from good foods. But if you're somebody like me, where you might have to eat a little more, 4,000, 5,000 calories, maybe more, uh, you might have to loosen up and be a little less strict with things and periodically and strategically use these fun foods. So we start with, as you can see, it's a lot of simple carbs. So I follow a higher carbohydrate bulking protocol. Uh, obviously I'm eating a lot of calories. So like my macros, for example, I'm eating about 700 to 750 grams of carbs per day. That's about 3000 calories or so. Uh, I'm getting my protein in uh, one gram per pound. And then I'm also doing fats. Fats are about 20% of my diet. So I typically start my day off. Um, I'm a big fan of like cereals in the morning because when I'm eating like five, six meals a day, uh, I like cereal. I know it's sugary, but that's kind of what I'm doing here. I spruce it up with that. Um, what I actually do to get my protein in during that, because I don't do eggs in the morning because I, I just want a quick meal. I actually, I like whole milk. Um, you can use whole milk and stuff. I just, I don't drink like the dairy milk for no particular reason. And then I like going with my NF Sports here, so I'm going with my Nutri-Whey, and then I'm going with my Creatine. So they got whey in here, uh, glutamine. So links down there below, you guys can actually save 30% uh, on all stuff there. But I really like the Belgian chocolate. Mix is great, and I put it right in here. Um, and then I also sometimes will put my peanut butter. I'll just kind of take a scoop of peanut butter and eat it with my cereal. So that's typically my first meal of the day. That's about 6 a.m. Then I go to work, I train some clients, and then I actually get home and that's when I have probably my favorite meal of the day. That's what I'm doing, my world famous pancakes, right? So what I do with that is I will start off by having my eggs. So I'm just having uh, eggs. Typically when I do my eggs, I'll do about four whole eggs. And then I have to get a little more of the egg white to get in uh, my total protein. And then what I'll do is honestly, like I was buying store brand. I just love the Hungry Jack. I wish I could get a sponsorship, but we'll see if they do that. Um, but I literally just mix this with water, fluff it up, I throw it on my skillet, and we're good to go. And when I do this, um, you know, my wife can attest to this, I got some huge stacks of fluffy pancakes, big stack of my eggs, and that's maybe where I'll throw some vegetables in there to get some vegetables in, but um, probably not that much. Maybe some cilantro on top, hot sauce. And then what I will do is I'll use, uh, I'll use sugar-free syrup. So that's what I do. Um, so that gets me to about 11 o'clock. Uh, I typically work out around two, so I have one more meal before I work out. And that kind of depends on how I'm feeling. So sometimes I might just grab some Pop-Tarts. They're great for like a pre-workout full of sugar. Uh, I like going to the store and seeing what's on sale. Um, I like chocolate. Uh, I like cookies and cream. So these ones were bright. Um, I think Halo, I think that's Halo on there. I thought it was pretty cool, so I got these. They're on sale, so I'll typically grab one of these. 
They have about 70 grams of carbs, and then I'll have another shake right before, and, uh, and that should get me to about that macro of my crew workout. We've now went through my first three meals of the day, and those weren't even my biggest meals. So, I finished my workout, and your post-workout meal, whether you're bulking or cutting, is always your most carb heavy. For reference, I eat about 800 to 1,000 calories, so that's about 200 to 250 grams of carbohydrates. And it's pretty low fat, because I want to get my absorption, I want to get the glycogen back in there. So I make homemade sourdough. This is kind of, uh, if you've been following along with my bulks in the past, this is now my third bulk. What I do every bulk, because I kind of focus on one thing. So like my first bulk ever, it was all about my Hungry Jack, my pancakes. Second bulk was about cereal, and that was kind of like the white rice bulk. Uh, and I've still kept some because I think it's good to add variety, but if you, you're eating a lot of foods, you gotta definitely mix it up. And then sourdough is a special person here. So that's what we're doing. Typically when I get home from my workout, I'll do some sourdough. Um, I might also have a big bowl of cereal. I'll have a protein shake. And then I even might have some of these. Um, I, like, I like having these on the way home after the gym. I'll just kind of get them in there. But if you know anything about you know 200 grams of carbohydrates, you have to eat this whole bag of apples to get that. I'm not gonna do that. So I'll typically have like an apple just to eat some fruits. I'll have a big bowl here, maybe some more bread, and then obviously uh, going with that. Another one though that I really like, because it is very difficult to eat a thousand calories of straight carbohydrates, is orange juice. And then what I'll also do is I'll throw on like uh, my carbohydrate powder. So I have like uh, some maltodextrin. I'll put that in there. Sometimes I make like a really like carbohydrate heavy. I'll mix it right in here. So I'm adding sugar to sugar. You feel like superhuman and you're ready to attack it. So that's my post-workout meal. All right, so now we've made it through the first four meals. Uh, right now, about six or seven uh, p.m. now. And my fifth meal of the day is what I'll have kind of my normal dinner. So I typically will sit down with my wife, we'll have some food. That's typically where I'll get a little more of my, of my healthy vegetables in. She likes to eat healthy, as do I, but sometimes cutting, it's very difficult to have huge salads. It takes up space. So I typically will just stick with lean protein, but I'll have like uh, skinless, boneless chicken thighs. Uh, she likes doing chicken breasts, might have some pork, might use the air fryer. So we just kind of mix it up with that. I'll have beef too, but I keep my fat low because I'm on a lower fat bulking diet. And then I might have uh, pasta, we might have white rice, uh, anything like that, and then just like some vegetables mixed in. So it's pretty simple, pretty basic for my dinner. Um, and then my last one, my pre-bed, and that's big because you have to be eating frequently if you're eating 5,000, 6,000 calories a day, which seems like a lot, but trust me guys, I was about 190 pounds. I work out a fairly decent amount, um, but you gotta eat, especially if you're a hard gainer, so get used to it. So. This is kind of the cool part because I typically will turn to having a lot of ice cream, right? And what I like to do again is I'll kind of mix it up, right? Maybe I'll do like an ice cream taster. I might do like um, some peanut butter fudge swirl. I might do some butter pecan. I might kind of load it up a little bit of plain basic vanilla just to kind of cleanse the palate in between. So I have fun with that. Um, it keeps bulking fun and serious. And then I also know I don't drink a lot on my bulking, but I do enjoy a nice, nice brew. This is a uh, Bourbon County 2020. Actually, Impulse bought this at the store. They were on sale. This is the 2020. So I'm an ageist, but I have a couple downstairs. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll sit in like my recovery booths, we'll watch some Netflix, and I'll crack a beer after I have some ice cream. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun, guys. And I'll be honest, bulking is a lot of fun. Obviously, you have to have a plan. You have to be training hard for all these calories. But when it's time to cut, I have fun here and I do it within my parameters. When it's time to cut, all of this stuff leaves, right? I'm left with basically, well, I'm, sometimes I'll drink it. So all of this stuff, if you could look, basically it's this when I'm cutting. I, I do rice cakes. I do low calorie bread, like light bread. I'll do white rice after post-workouts. Um, but a lot of that fun, flavorful stuff is out of it. And that's part of the deal. If you're going to bulk, do it right. Obviously, you know, you're going to have to eat some carbs and, and be okay with putting a little body fat on there. But then when it's time to cut, buckle up and cut and give it a good, you know, 12 weeks to really, you know, shred up and cover the muscle you put on there. And, and that's the cycle of bulking and, and cutting. So make sure you guys subscribe to the video below. 
Uh, check out the links. Again, I keep it pretty simple. These are about the only supplements I take. Pinchoe, creatine, and then for caffeine, I just do good old black coffee. Uh, I love coffee, so I'll mix it up there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe. Comment below with any questions you got.